Hey, just down below the video, if you click like, that'll make sure that YouTube shows this video to more people. Thanks. Wow, this is beautiful. First look at three new functions, group by, pivot by, and percent of. They are remarkably simple to use, but with deep options. So group by, we want to group by the categories, and I want to sum the sales. Check this out. Look at all these functions we have. Sum, percent of, average, all the way down through mode. And you can put any lambda that you can write in here. These are all really just shortcuts. They call it an eta lambda. Putting in sum is really just a shorthand for writing a lambda to do the sum. So there's our total by category. Now check this out. If I would specify two columns, so C and D, I get both sales and cost. Wouldn't it be nice to have field headers? Of course it would. So comma, we have a choice here for no, yes, but don't show, no, but generate, yes, and show. So that makes the most sense here in this case. All right, let's go deeper. I'm gonna put two row fields, so A and B, right? And now we have a choice of what totals to use. So here, we can say no totals, just the grand totals, which appears to be the default grand totals and subtotals. Uh, and Roger Govier in Wales is going to be thrilled with this. Grand totals at the top or grand and subtotals at the top. I'll choose at the bottom like that. So there's all of our fruit with a fruit total, herbs total, vegetables total. Ah, all right. This one, beautiful. The sort order, comma. So are we going to sort by column one, column two, column three? Let's sort by column three, which is sales. And everything is arranged smallest to largest. Well, that's not how we want it, right? Watch how elegant this is. A minus three says go the other way and sort largest to smallest. I love it. The last thing they give us here is a filter array. If for some reason I didn't want any herbs, then here in the filter array, I just specify that the category is not equal to herbs like that and it gives us just fruit and vegetables all right simple enough three arguments and you're there but plenty more arguments to uh, improve it and don't forget that the sum function can be replaced by any lambda that you can write pivot by just like group by but adds the ability to add columns so equal pivot by let's do a pivot table with categories down the left-hand side. So the row fields are category. Uh, across the top, we will put region. And in the values area, sale. And then the function, we will do a sum like that. So there's our very simple little pivot report. Let's try and expand this a little bit for the row fields. We'll do both category and product. All right, and so now we have, uh, for the headers, we're gonna say yes and show. For the rows, we want grand and subtotals. And now we have a subtotal for fruit and herbs and vegetables. This is incredibly cool. The other choices here allow us to add more fields to the columns area and then control whether we have subtotals for the columns or not also the sort order and the filter array. The other function they gave us is called percent of, which seems a little bit silly, but they had to give us this in order to add percent of in group by and pivot by. So if we just say, hey, this 1275 as a percentage of all of these numbers, I'll press F4 there uh, and format it as a percentage. So it's a good way to get a percentage of the total, but the place where they really expected us to use this uh, would be in the which calculation uh, part of group by or pivot by. Now remember, these are all eta lambdas. Any of those functions that require a lambda as the last argument, for example, by call or by row, can now use these instead of having to write a lambda in there, which adds even more power. Thanks to Joe McDade and the Calc team at Microsoft for giving us these great new functions. And thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.